good morning and uh, welcome to uh, Camilla and I. I'm Mark Cooper and we're at the Bitten Hyde, the Ivy North Hyde, Blashford Lakes, superb hyde where I photographed the Bitten six years ago and we're back and we're going to photograph it again today. Ooh, let's hope so, that'd be really nice. Anyway, somebody will be along in a minute to open the old hide. Cheers. Should have access to this fella here. Because he's been sighted all week here at uh, Blashford Lakes. So uh, that's why we're here. Um, a positive sighting. So we're back. We're back to get the bitten. So it's elusive nature, this bird is not the only thing. The average lifespan of a bittern is only about four years and uh, although the population reduced to about 11 breeding pairs in 1997 I think it was, there were only 11 males booming. There's now 180 or so uh, booming up and down the country but this is no guarantee that their survival is guaranteed. So this is a red listed bird and that's why we only photograph it from a hide and a controlled situation. This is a rare endangered species. So no guarantees with this elusive bird. It is one of the most difficult to track down. So let's hope today on Camera and I we get lucky because even in the right place you have to get lucky with this bird. And uh, yeah, the hide has to open first. Yeah, although the uh, bitten has got beautiful markings, it is absolutely camouflaged to the T. It is virtually impossible to spot. And usually, I must admit, I ask the local expert to uh, look it out for me, because normally you can't see it for love and money. It could be looking at you through the reeds, but the camouflage on the uh, plumage is so good you have got to have the eyesight of Superman. Yeah, you need the eyesight of Superman to pick it out. And even then, I think you'd struggle. Ooh. Yeah, so here's the setup today. The 600 millimeter pointing straight down the channel. Oh, this window down here. Superb. Well, I was first one in this hide this morning and I was very lucky to catch a glimpse of the bitten between the reeds directly below the hide. Can you see it, Richard? I'm not sure. I think it's just reflection. Um, yeah. It's very difficult because it's, it's so well camouflaged. It's so well camouflaged and it's totally contra jour at the moment. We're looking right into the uh, sunlight. Sun. Fortunately, it's winter and the sun's still low in the sky, but uh, it's still very difficult to make it out. I, I only saw it because it was moving and it's outline. Yeah, yeah. An incredibly stealthy bird. So, yeah, we spotted it below the hide. Um, but it is virtually invisible, contra jour, against this sunlight. It is very, very difficult to spot. So, uh, yeah, the best bet at the moment for seeing it is out of the side window. So, yeah, your best bet is out of the side window. Yeah, it's just down there. Yeah, just in there somewhere, folks. So unless the bit moves, it is virtually impossible to spot, particularly in this light. But uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Great to catch up with it. That's amazing, isn't it? Uh, incredible. Can you see it now? I can't, can't see it now. <laughs> no, it's incredible. 
You've only got to move a few feet. On yes. that, so just a uh, just a few feet round, and you can't see it at all. It's absolutely amazing. Um, the outline, the shape, is your best bet. Because it but, uh, only because it moved. Oh, I can see it moving. It's just started to move. Yeah, just I saw the reeds move down here. So, uh, yeah. yeah, it's literally just started to move. But uh, we're looking through the glass here, yeah. so it's a bit of a bit of a nightmare. But yeah, it was just I saw. Yeah, yeah. You won't be able to get it now unless you lean out the window. I don't think, which is not totally advisable. Can you see it clearly? No. No, that's amazing. But it is there. Honest. <laughs> I can see the reeds moving, but I can't see anything. No, looking very well. Reeds moving. You don't actually see the bit in the tall. It's too low down in the vegetation. But you're just looking for a slight movement in the reeds. Fortunately, it's a very still day today, and uh, this is what you can see. So, uh, if it was uh, windy or anything like that, we wouldn't have a chance of spotting it in its current position. Absolutely amazing, incredible bird. Unsurprisingly, it wasn't hunted to extinction in this country. It was basically the habitat that got reduced. There was a considerable amount of reed beds were cut down and uh, this limited the uh, population areas, the growing areas. And indeed, this is only a winter passing through bittern. Don't think there'll be any other bitterns in the area, but uh, we'll see. Great if there were two, and to be honest, you'd never know. It's so difficult to spot. But I suspect this one will go off and fly somewhere like sunset levels for breeding. But this is just a, uh, a feeding stop off. Yeah, so find the bitten is the uh, game now. So it started on the right hand side of the hide and now it's working its way, hopefully, over to this lovely open channel which uh, we're sticking right down. Awesome. Well, wow, just waiting for it to move, basically. Any movement of the reeds and then uh, you've got a chance of spotting. So while I'm waiting, I'll try to pick off a few birds on these uh, reed heads. A little bit of video. Yeah, so heading back from that Ivy North Hyde, Rashford Lakes, absolutely incredible. What an encounter with the bitten. Um, so, uh, 
yeah, I mean, uh, perseverance pays off. I mean, I must admit, I did have to spend five hours in the hide to get uh, five seconds of decent footage of the bitten going across the channel. So, uh, yeah, it is all about uh, perseverance and uh, putting the time in. Dedication, dedication to wildlife photography. Anyway, yeah, this morning I got the, uh, first of all, got the bitten in a bit of a silhouette. It was right in front of the blind on the right hand side of the hide. Absolutely incredible that it should be there. Yeah, so what a bit of luck from the moment we arrived. It was there, right in the right spot. Literally 20 foot from the uh, blind. So uh, yeah, got a little bit of um, silhouette. Silhouette of the bitten. Um, and uh, a couple of blurry stills. Very difficult to photograph, even with the best equipment in the world. And I was uh, trying to manually photos, photograph, <laughs> trying to manual focus on the bitten and uh, it was still virtually impossible but uh, yeah what a day well thanks for watching Camilla and I the hunt for the bitten we eventually found one having been around uh, most of Norfolk and not having discovered one we found one in our backyard as we know areas we know well in our local vicinity are pretty good for wildlife so uh, Blashford Lakes has come up trumps and we've successfully got the hunt for the bitten and boy we found the bitten and uh, wow anyway have a good one don't forget like subscribe share the successful hunt for the bitten have a good one bye from camilla and i <laughs>